Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. In the tutorial I did just prior to this, I showed you how to melt away pounds off your body in photos using the liquify tool and a new feature in Photoshop CS5 called Content to Wear Fill. Using the thin figure we created from that tutorial, I'll now show you how to use the new Puppet Warp feature in Photoshop CS5. We'll start by creating a selection around the figure. So we'll go to the Quick Selection tool and then go to the figure and click down as we drag down. If you hit the shift key it'll add to that selection and we'll continue until we have the entire figure. We'll press Control J or Command J on a Mac to cut it out and place it on a separate layer. We'll retitle the layer figure. We'll click down on the thumbnail as we press Control on a PC or Command on a Mac to get the selection again. We'll now go to Select, Modify, and expand. A new window will pop up and we'll put in four pixels and press OK. Content Aware Fill works best when the selection has been expanded a bit. We'll take the eyeball off the figure and make the background active. We'll go to Edit, Fill, and then we'll see Content Aware. This is the new feature in Photoshop CS5. We'll press OK and let Photoshop do the rest. Wow! Instantly, Content Aware Fill took the figure out and replaced it with the background. We'll bring back the figure and apply Puppet Warp. We'll go to Edit and Puppet Warp. Now if you go to the Show Mesh and check it, you can actually see the mesh itself. There are three density modes for the mesh. We're going to leave it on Normal. We'll uncheck the mesh and start adding points. The points themselves act as thumbtacks. Each pin serves as a point of stretching, but it also serves to lock down that portion of the image when you stretch a different pin. If you move the Alt or Option key outward, it will rotate the object. Or if you click inside of a pin and press the Alt or Option, it will remove it. In the next example, I'll show you how you can drag the pins to different locations, thereby stretching the object. So we'll lay down control points, and again, if you press the Alt or Option key, you can literally rotate the object. They react as, uh, as hinge pivots, essentially. And we'll intertwine this rope by dragging the points to different locations. Now I'm going to show you how to assign the depth to each one of these points in a second. We'll go to the pin depth buttons. The one on the right places the point under the other points and the one on the left places it on top of the other points. We've assigned the pin depth of the active pin to go under the others. You can see the part of the rope whose pin is active because it's underneath. Now if we assign the pin depth for that same pin to go on top of the others, that part of the rope is now on top. Let's drag another part of the rope over and adjust the pin depth. We can see the part of the rope going under and over as we apply the pin depth. Thanks for watching. Check out my Blue Lightning TV on YouTube for tips, tutorials, and tests in Photoshop and After Effects.